Alright, I've been meaning to do this tutorial for a while. Uh, this is how I present wirelessly in court. Um, I've been asked this quite a bit, especially when somebody's in court and they see my wireless router uh, and, and they want to know how I can how I can do this um, without having to be plugged in and walking around the courtroom. It's not quite magic. It's not like this. It doesn't go straight from the iPad straight to the TV. That wireless signal doesn't quite work. you got to have a few steps in between. So really, my wireless signal goes from my iPad down to my router. Okay. Uh, now I've got this, um, I've got an ingenious uh, wireless router that I use. Um, I, it's not the fastest thing in the world. Quite frankly, I can't even remember the stats on it. But it looks like a smoke detector and I use it because it works. Um, that's really uh, the only reason I haven't changed. I know there's faster ones out there. I've never had any problems. Uh, it is dual band. I use the five gigahertz line. Um, when when I plug it in in the courtroom, uh, everybody knows because suddenly there's a new uh, there's a new wireless router uh, for everybody to see on their device um, called Not Guilty, uh, strategically named. But uh, when I plug in my Apple TV, it auto connects to it. The iPad finds it, uh, and we go from there. So. Um, my uh, iPad will connect to it, um, but then of course I got to get my Apple TV uh, to connect to it as well. Um, I've got an old Apple TV uh, that I use just for this purpose. So it will, as soon as it turns on, it will connect to that network. My network is local. It doesn't go out to the internet um, unless I've got something connected and that's rarely the case. But it will go wirelessly. I've never had any lag, never had any problems with videos. But you can go uh, uh, with the hard lined into your router. But I've just never had to do that. I've gotten along just fine without using that cord. Um, so when I use it, if I can use the HDMI, I will do it every single time. Um, you don't have to worry about fiddling around with uh, audio cables. Uh, in the VGA, but that's not always the case. It's just what they have available for you. So normally I'm going from the Apple TV with the HDMI cable to the back of the television or back of the, uh, the projector, however I can get that in there. Um, the alternative is to get an HDMI to VGA connector uh, with an audio cable um, because you're going to need that audio uh, to get through. Then you're going to need the VGA cable. Um, Mine are actually separate like that. I suppose you can get them where it's one device, one cord, uh, and then you're getting into the back of the TV or back of the projector. So HDMI cables are cheap. I buy them on Amazon. I get a bunch uh, and a bunch ride in my bag with me. Um, but uh, it, it's relatively easy to get where you need to go. These are wonderful because if something doesn't have HDMI, they will have VGA. But you see this line out right here. This uh, is key to getting the audio. The HDMI will carry your audio for you. But if you're us using this little guy, you're going to need to have that audio cable uh, to get your uh, audio from your iPad out to the speakers of the television um, and, and actually pump that sound out there. If I don't have, uh, if I'm using a projector, I've got an external speaker I bring with me that I plug that into. But then the HDMI, there, I'm sorry, the VGA cable goes into the appropriate place on the back of the television um, or the projector. So that's um, generally my setup. Once I get that set up, now I'm back into my iPad. Uh, I open this up on my iPad, you swipe up from the bottom um, and down at the bottom where it's got the AirPlay. You want to have your Wi-Fi on, your Bluetooth on, um, sometimes the... Uh, rotational lock uh, but then you select your your Apple TV flip on mirroring and then you're in business then uh, this is an example of trial pad on the left there you see um, your control view in, in trial pad um, in fact I think that's even an old version of trial pad on the image there but now you're walking around wire wirelessly and whatever's, uh, whoever's in the courtroom is seeing only what's on the TV. They're not going to see all your control panel. Um, and that's what puts you in, in great shape uh, to make yourself look all professional and uh, 
slick in the courtroom with this. Uh, so that's what that's what I use. And like I said, it's because it works. Um, it's not because it's the fastest or best setup. Um, I've run it off of my phone's hotspot before. But I do carry a bag with tons of connectors for everything I could possibly need uh, when I do these things. And uh, it, it generally works out well. I haven't had a problem yet where um, the entire thing shut down and I wasn't able to give the presentation or, or, or put up what I needed to in the courtroom. So uh, there you go. I hope that's helpful. Um, kind of explain the process. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, just let me know.